Hey YouTube, this Rock60 here for another video or kind of last video update on the system. Uh, I know a lot, of you, a lot of you guys have questions and read it in other places and did it put them in the comment section for some reason. You guys just, just ran with it and just made whole forums out of it and stuff like that, which you know, it was here or there. It would have been nice for you guys to be like really active in the comment section, but it's whatever. Um, those of you guys who don't know about this system, it's a system I modified uh, years ago. You know, I was just like, you know, really in a low place. And I had this like one of those ideas that was in my head. I just told myself, I really need to get this idea out, out while I can. Especially when I had the resources when I, uh, when I had at the moment. And I was like, yeah, I just need to get this out while I, uh, the idea is still fresh, you know. So this was a stock PlayStation Vita at the time until I swapped out parts uh, from another Vita that I had, that had broken screen. I uh, swapped out the, uh, the back panel. Uh, uh, I added LEDs into the speakers area on the left and right. Uh, I, pat, um, I painted the back touch panel red but it's actually black under here too because the uh it's a two two process type paint job uh i did like a black marble uh texture paint under here which you can kind of see it it kind of you see like those bumps in there that's not from like um a paint peel or anything that's actually the texture of the paint once it hits the surface which is pretty cool and it actually feels oh, like really I don't know, kind of weird but cool at the same time it's kind of hard to describe it but um yeah there's that and then i did like a red coat over that too because i just like the color red so this red leds and this red paint on it uh and then i also added you know the vibration motors to it which a lot of people were saying like oh it's so pointless it's dumb why would you even do this because i could you know i just thought it would be something awesome to do and i thought for years, Sony have should have done this with the PSP and stuff, and especially with the Vita, you know, it's supposed to be like the console experience. And I figured they'll uh, eventually make an add-on that it will just make the Vita do this, or a software update or something. Until I opened up the Vita myself and I saw like just so much empty space sitting in these units. It's just you could literally add anything if you really wanted to. I see people adding battery, uh, bigger batteries. Uh, extra speakers, different LEDs and stuff, different uh, dip switches to control certain things. I seen people add rap, uh, rapid fire um, through hard mods and stuff like that, and like um, <clears throat> like back buttons and stuff. So there was a lot of room for improvement on the design of this unit, and. Sony didn't do anything about that in the next iteration, which is 2000, which I no longer own anymore, but I will probably one day and probably try this modification on that one too. So, but yeah, um, I was hoping for a PlayStation Vita 3000 where it had a combination of all these things, but they never came to be. So I decided to do it myself. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show off this modification again, if those of you guys that haven't seen it. Okay, this is just regular places should be though for the most part. As you can see, if you guys pay attention, the LEDs are going off um, in the speaker area. They're hard soldered to the uh, speakers, so every time the sound goes off, you know, it reacts. But the motors themselves, they're somewhat soldered to the, the, um, the speakers and the power, well, a point on the PlayStation Vita. I can't really show you right now, but um, uh, if anybody, if I get enough views and interest on this video, um, I'll make sure to open up this PlayStation Vita. You guys show it inside and see, uh, show you guys all the parts that I, uh, that I soldered to and everything like that. And the process I went of doing this, but I just want to show the mod again. I'm just gonna pick a game, turn it on.
you can see, as you can see and hear, the motors are going off. Um, showing the live area. Yes, they sound very loud, but it's only because they're against the surface of something else, and your hands are not as loud. But yeah, um, the vibration motors are still loud, unfortunately. Uh, it's not much you could do with that, you know, because they're, you know, it's motors against a plastic surface, you know. Yes, I could add foam and other hot glue and stuff like that to dampen the, um, the sound, but I'm not too worried about it because my place, my personal PlayStation Vita. But I figured with more people seeing this system, um, more people will try the modification. But so far, I haven't seen many people do it. So if you guys were to actually do this, then yeah, make sure you add some way to dampen the sound or add more glue to the surface of that where you're putting these uh, motors so that way it doesn't make it that much sound. Uh, now to show you guys before uh, I go the different parts I used. Um, I used a right angle switch. As you can see here it's very, very, very small. There we go, a right angle switch that has uh, three positions. You don't need to use three positions, I just use two. So when I turn to the left, nothing's on. Uh, turn to the right, everything's on. So there's that. Um, when I first did this modification, I used this motor. It's the micro vibration motor. This is like the typical vibration motor that you find in controllers because it has a weight on top. Um, I would advise using a different motor, but you can use these too because they're about as small as you can get as far as like the space in places you Vita. But um, <clears throat> it may or may not hit something in your motherboard, and I'm definitely not responsible for it if you if it does damage your PlayStation Vita. But um, when I put them in the PlayStation Vita, it didn't damage anything. So there's that. So you can um, be rest assured that it. If you do it properly, you won't have to worry about it damaging your motherboard. Um, here's the LEDs I used. Um, not blue, of course, but um, these are five volt, uh, two pack of uh, LEDs. Uh, I would add like a set of ohm capacitors to these. So that way it lessens the power it draws or lessens the power it takes to the power these on because I think these would run off of three volts. You don't need five volts, but it says five volts on the uh, packaging. So if you get really small LEDs, this should be able to work if you want to do that. Um, and lastly, the motors that are in the Vita themselves, uh, in the Vita right now, is the flat coin vibration motors. And you can find these um, in smartphones these days, or cheap ones, or uh, dollar store, uh, what you call a dollar store? Uh, it wouldn't be smart brushes, but you know what I'm talking about, the spinning brushes. They use vibration motors and stuff and other motors too. Uh, but yeah, mostly they use like one of these, the really, or one of these in the, um, in the base of the toothbrush. So, you know, that way you can save money, rip out one of the motors out of those and put it in your place your Vita. But that, that's as far as the parts go, that's what was in the Tisha Chavita. So if you guys have any more questions uh, on this Vita or want me to take it apart and show you guys my soldering points, please let me know. But other than that, peace.